What is going on guys, McRaptor here back in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This time we're fighting the Guardian Ape 2.0 boss. So this is a guide for the double Guardian Ape or the two Guardian Ape fight. Same thing as the original phase two, you're going to want to deflect the second and third of the four hit combo if you can to force that overhead attack, which then you can deflect and get big damage in with the spear. You do have to hit that right bumper twice in order to get the spear to pull the centipede out, but that's how you get that big damage. Uh, same thing as phase two in the original Guardian Ape fight, you do need to get out for the scream. So expect once you get a few attacks in on his body, two or three usually, he's going to go into a scream probably really quickly. So you're gonna wanna preemptively get out. When he goes into those overhead slams though, after proper deflex, you're gonna wanna make sure that you get that nice final deflection. Again, going in with the spear, doing a ton of damage to his posture. So this should be easier for you than the original fight just because you're now more experienced. And especially if you go in with the spear, you won't have much trouble with this guy at all in phase one. Now, phase two is a different story. Uh, fighting one version of Guardian Ape is probably enough, but they had to add a second one. So you got this little brown guy now who's basically a less tanky version of the phase one Guardian Ape the first time that you fought him. So he's got all those same attacks. And so you have to avoid both phase one and phase two ape versions at the same time. Now, the biggest thing that I've noticed about this fight in order to succeed is really trying to get proper positioning and pop a firecracker at a great time when you can get some damage in on the brown ape. The, the brown ape really does not have a lot of health at all. And um, I was trying to very aggressively take him down as soon as possible, but that was a little bit too aggressive and my positioning was off there. So that did not work out. Luckily, we have the resurrection, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull them apart as much as possible and just be patient and wait for the right opportunity to get some big damage in on, on the brown ape. You don't actually have to do any deflects on him. You can if you want to. He is actually very weak, so you're going to want to kill him first just to get him out of the way and try to be mindful, though, at the same time of the headless ape that's still doing all the same annoying shit that he's been doing the entire time. But you can see right here, got a good firecracker in, good spacing between the two after the, the uh, scream from the Headless Ape. Maybe that's the best opportunity, waiting for a good scream when they're spaced out and then popping a firecracker and getting some good damage in. There's probably lots of variations because there's a lot of RNG to this fight, obviously, and you're probably gonna have to do it a few times in phase two before you get it down. But it's mainly about positioning firecracker and just getting the brown ape down as soon as possible. Once the brown ape is down though, luckily it's just a normal phase two guardian ape fight. So you just have to do what you've already done in, in phase one of this version and just keep deflecting, keep getting that overhead final deflection as well and use the spear. Um, obviously don't get hit by any of the unblockable attacks either. You do need to evade those, but this should be a pretty simple fight overall. Guys, I hope this guide was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got lots of other boss guides on the playlist as well. So make sure to check those out. We will see you next time.